Hello, my friends from YouTube. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to uh, boot up from a CD-ROM. This is a HP laptop, 2000. And uh, what happened is this computer has a virus, so every time I load to Windows, uh, it doesn't let me do anything. So, uh, and also the, the recovery partition is damaged. Uh, this computer is coming with Windows 8, but uh, the recovery partition is damaged, so I need to reinstall Windows. And uh, I'm trying to boot up from the CD room, and and this is what it happened. Okay, let me show you. So let's press. I'm gonna power on, and then right away we're gonna press escape. Really fast, okay. And then escape. You see. Because if you don't press it really fast, it will beat you and they try to um, log, log into Windows. Everything you do is in your own risk. I am not responsible for any damage that you cause in your device. Uh, this uh, video is for um, education only. Thank you. So I press escape so that way I get this menu and I can choose uh, F9 boot device option. So let's press F9 on the keyboard. And you can see I don't see the, the CD room. <laughs> okay, so I don't see the CD room. Uh, it, it's supposed to show the CD room. So now we have to go to BIOS, so it say press F10 to BIOS setup. Okay, so we go to BIOS to check on BIOS F10. Okay, so now we are here on BIOS, and um, let's go to um, system configuration. So with the arrow key here, we go next, and then here. This is. Um, this is the system configuration. We go to the last one. Boot options. And, um, and by default, it's, it's supposed to be like this. Like a, you see, um, legacy. Legacy support should be disabled. And a security boot should be enabled. And also here, uh, you need to um, come down here and um, and and make and make sure this internal CD room is on the top. Um, okay, so to change this, you need to press F. Um, F6 or F5, okay, and the keyboard, so right here, F6, so you see now it's on the top, okay, now, so we're going to press F10 to save and exit, okay. Save, exit, saving changes. Yes, it's a presenter in the keyboard. And then right away we go to escape again. So really fast. See? We need to do it fast because otherwise it's going to try to win. Just in case uh, it beat you up, uh, turn off the computer by this button over here. And then when you turn it on, right away press escape. And I should show you this. Okay, so I got the menu again. So let's press F9 on the keyboard. And you see, it doesn't show anything. Um, but I discover 
after trying many, many times, that my CD-ROM in this laptop is damaged. Because sometimes it recognizes it, sometimes it doesn't. So this is what I did, okay? Um, I have uh, this one external CD-ROM, and it's connected um, USB. You can buy it um, in any computer store for 30 bucks, 20 bucks, depends. There is different prices, or you can order it on eBay. So you connect it to the USB. Okay, now, I, I think I have a, yeah, I have a Windows 8 here. Okay, this computer came with Windows 8, so you need to reinstall. We need to reinstall Windows 8 because the computer has virus. Okay, so I'm gonna put the CD room here. So I think the CD room. Okay, now, okay, so I connect the the external right with the USB. What we're gonna do? We're gonna turn the computer off. Okay. Okay, so now um, we're gonna turn it on and right away we're gonna press escape, okay? Right away. Okay, so I got it, so it's coming. So I got it right here, the menu. Now we're gonna press F9 to see. F9. Didn't work. It's coming. It didn't work again. Okay, so maybe I did something wrong in the in the BIOS, so let's go and check F10 again. Let's go to BIOS, okay? Okay, we are in BIOS here, and now let's go to system configuration, and then enter. Look at the menu. Okay, so this one is the USB, USB, so this one should be in the top, okay? USB, this one, okay, so let me change it with F6, okay, okay? So now let me see if it will work, so press F10 to save changes, enter, and then right away escape. I hope it works it time, this time because I'm trying to install Windows 8 in this computer for like three hours already because it doesn't show the doesn't show the CD room. So F9 boot options. Okay, you see it right there. USB CD room drive. Okay, so now let's present it. Press any key, enter, you can press any key. I try to make my videos short because um, sometimes we have to wait a lot of time but I try to make it short but sometimes we need to wait you know like in this case computer doesn't start my CD room
Okay, guys, so you see, now uh, from here you can um, continue to install your operating system. As you can see, my my um, my CD room is working, and um, and I able to to reset this computer. See, that's why it's showing this the Windows save because it's working. Otherwise, it doesn't show. Is there an error? Okay, guys, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope my videos help help you, and um, that's the only way you you help me if you subscribe. Um, I'm gonna post a lot of more videos. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Give me like, subscribe, and leave me leave me comments and ask me any questions. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Go Saints.